Yo, welcome Crypto Goats. We have Playbox, which is a leading web 3.0 platform integrating e-commerce, blockchain, and virtual communities. This is a massive opportunity. Let's talk. All right, so Crypto Goats, welcome to what is known as Playbooks. As stated, this is one of the next biggest projects that you probably need to keep your eyes on. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that they are recognized by the Binance Incubator Program. It offers diverse services like Shop to Earn, Walk to Earn, and more. Initially, on the BNB chain, Playbox aims to expand to other blockchain networks very soon. Now, I will tell you that they currently have what is known as a pre-alpha. We're talking about Playbox has become the top platform on the BNB chain with its NFT venture, the early bird collection, gaining massive attraction. It achieved remarkable success with Stamp to Earn, becoming the top collection on OpenSea across all chains, solidifying its position as a pioneer in NFTs. Now you guys are probably thinking, what exactly can Playbucks do? Well, I'll tell you right now that everyone is technically gonna be able to get their own customizable room, to hang out with friends. Community owners can partner with them to get larger spaces. Projects with smart contracts can integrate them into their Playbox space. So I want you guys to stay tuned for more space related updates that's coming out very soon. I also want you guys to understand that they do have a uh, token, right? Or let's say tokenomics along with some points. So these are going to be very important, especially for this project. So you guys already know that tokenomics, I mean, these are vital for a project's longevity. Many inflationary tokens lose a value over time. We're talking about other tokens as well, such as secondary tokens introduced by some projects. To address this, they have adopted what is known as a dual token system. The secondary token acts as royalty points, non-withdrawable and non-spendable, similar to in-currency game, or let's say in-game currency. This shields users who treat the metaverse as a game from value fluctuations. So you guys will actually see that they do provide the tokenomics here, talking about a total supply of 400 million. You can actually see the overall breakdown right here, which is critical for this overall project, especially going forward. And you guys will even see that the token technically provides a massive amount of opportunity, which we'll talk about more here in just a few moments. I also want you guys to understand that you have what is known as Create to Earn. Their SDK program empowers global game developers to craft their games within the Playbucks environment and feature them in their in-game center. Now, Playbucks and the creators share game profits, fostering a community where users transition into creators. This platform serves as a canvas for users to exhibit their creativity and ideas. Not only that, but I also want you guys to understand that there is some massive amounts of partnerships, especially whenever it comes to this project. And you guys are probably thinking, well, what are these partnerships? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, whenever it comes to these partnerships, we're talking about that they are partnering with leading Web 2.0 wallet and telecom firms, such as Gcash, Maya, Indosat, Touch and Go, True Money Wallet, and others. Collectively, you guys, they are reaching over 200 million users. 
There's even agreements with the major Web 2.0 companies transitioning to Web 3.0, like what is known as IQIYI. And you guys will actually see it right here if you kind of just take a look, especially right here, you can see that right there, they have what is known as Watch to Earn. So in the Web 3 realm, Playbooks is part of Binance's fourth incubator program. It is funded by prominent investors like Tron, Anchor, Surtech, IMO, Gates, and Leaf, raising a total of $1.35 million in a private sale. Unlike platforms that mint tokens aimlessly, Playbucks generates revenue before the token distribution, which is very important. For instance, they have what is known as Shop to Earn. They even have uh, what is known as Paybucks. So basically, users can earn Paybucks or P-Bucks from merchant cashback distributed by them. They also profit from ads, affiliate marketing, brick sales, lotteries, and zero sun games. Services without revenue generate what is known as a brick for users, which cannot be exchanged and prevents inflation. So if you actually take a look here, you can go to how to play and you'll see, obviously you need to create an account, connect wallet and proof of personhood. You guys will see we have the brick, we got the cash back credit, we got the lotto ticket, we got the lotto pool stamp to earn, watch to earn, watch to earn, game center as stated. People can actually create games and go there. They have shop to earn, mystery box, NFT sale, compound NFT, withdrawal, conquer to earn, and pay with pay bucks, or let's call it P bucks. So I want you guys to understand there is a lot of things here, right? Game and content. So since the alpha phase, play bucks has evolved into two distinct yet interconnected services. We have the website and the game client. This division ensures seamless operation for services requiring an on-chain transactions or addressing copyright concerns on the website while optimizing in-game services within the game client environment. Some in-game services may require users to actually pay fees in what is known as P-Bucks tokens easily facilitated by depositing P-Bucks into their accounts. So that is critical. Also, want you guys to understand that users can navigate the digital landscape engaging in activities such as walking, conversing, and playing within the virtual island environment. Accessing services is very simple. Now, as I said to you guys, there is a lot of benefits here, especially for this project. So there is a lot of features and contents. So remember, whenever it comes to Playbucks platform, it offers diverse services from proprietary offerings like Stamp to Earn. Not only that, integrated services such as Watch to Earn by IQIYI. Each service provides tangible benefits, including acquiring NFTs, in-game currencies like Brick and Pebble, earning P-Bucks tokens or real money based on service revenue. So for a deeper dive into Playbooks offerings, explore their comprehensive features section. I want you guys to understand that if you actually take a look here, you can actually see that there is a lot, especially whatever comes to their features section, especially right here in the white paper. All right, now before we continue, I want to talk about the combination, say of NFTs. So you guys will actually see right here that these are gonna be very important, okay? So while most NFTs in the market are unique combinations of parts of properties, or let's say, or properties, their approach allows all parts to be customizable and treated as NFTs. Users can customize seven parts, all right? So uh, we are clearly talking about a hat, a head, a face, not only that, but they got shirts, back, pants, and shoes without restrictions, enabling personal expression in the metaverse. So there's a lot of benefits here. Now let's go ahead and talk about what is known as the lotto ticket package. You guys will see once again that we do have the lotto tickets, right? 
you can even dive down directly into say right here on the white paper now this is very important a lot of tickets serve as an entry or entries into what is known as a lot of pool future where even just one ticket could potentially win you the jackpot uh, more details you guys please make sure you refer to this section right here okay which is critical not only that value set users have the option to purchase what is known as playbooks pass and playbooks premium pass both which grant them access to brick for a duration of 30 days additionally with the premium pass users receive additional 10 brk instantly upon purchase uh, as said, you guys will see right here they have what is known as the iqiyi vip package so users have the opportunity to subscribe to iqiyi through playbooks unlocking benefits within the watch to earn feature as you can see right here so the watch to earn feature is very important users can opt to purchase their subscription along with a pass for a bundled price offering them a deal and then they even have a, what is known as the brick page so or the big the brick package i guess i should say so if we actually go back you guys will see it once again we have what is known as a brick which is going to be very important now this offers a bundle of brk tokens which users can utilize within playbooks services such as the game center or walk to earn right so you guys can see right here there's a lot of important details now the token once again is critical so they have what is known as the p bucks token so obviously the white paper provides a lot of information especially about the token and the utilities and that everything it has to offer right so they have uh what is known as earning so post launch p bucks becomes the central token in their ecosystem users can actually earn p bucks through services like shop to earn or watch to earn then use them for gaming asset purchases or compounding the circulation aligns with their with a real income no inflation model unlike other platforms they prioritize revenue generation before token distribution right this is very important so example and shop to earn users get p bucks from cash back funded by their revenue okay which is great they even earn revenue through their ads affiliate marketing package sales and games right not only that but some users basically get uh, what is known as brick an in-game currency and you guys will see right here they have uh, what is known as spending so this is the primary currency within a playbook allowing purchases of game content lotto tickets and nfts I want you guys to understand that playbooks currency during the alpha to open beta phases pebble is the easiest to earn through a gameplay while brick or brk is the premium currency obtained via package purchases for exclusive content now p bucks reigns as the highest tier currency offering superior purchasing power and bonuses while some packages require usd or credit card users can actually buy them with p bucks at a discounted rate in essence p bucks stands out as the most valuable currency in the ecosystem and then they even have what is known as gaming so p bucks will be the currency for exclusive game participation following a zero-sum concept players use p bucks as payment accumulating into a reward pool now after deducting a fee p bucks is distributed based on player rank this mechanic extends to p bucks a lot of pools where users use p bucks as tickets with winners receiving a portion right they even have a debut game known as conquer to earn uh, launches with the alpha phase so we're talking about a strategic war game that pits countries against each other and then you guys will see right here finally they have uh, what is known as fees so after the alpha launch users can play the game via both the client and website interfaces on the website transactions require paying standard gas fees through wallet extensions yet within the client like claiming nfts or assets p bucks must be deposited as gas fees for web 2.0 transactions okay 
So if we take a look, once again, we do have the tokenomics, you guys. The overall breakdown, we got the public sale, launch pool, investors, KOLs, round, liquidity, treasury, protocol, rewards, and marketing, and team. You can see the overall breakdown right there. Remember, you guys, this thing is currently trading. And they even have NFTs, which are critical, right? You can dive down into this, how to obtain. We have what is known as the claw machine, right? We have uh, what is known as NFT sales, compound NFT. They have events. They have the lotto pool, walk to earn, a lot of utilities, especially whatever comes to say these NFTs, right? Equipped, or let's say equipped in game to use in stamp to earn, double walk, basically in walk to earn, right? So very, very, very good. And then finally, you guys, I want you to understand that they do have a, a lot of investors, right? Which is going to be critical. Not only that, but I want you guys to understand that they do have a, a lot of partners as well. So if we take a look at you, you guys can clearly see we got Binance Labs, we got Visa, we got IQIYI, we got Tron, Certic, Anchor, we got IMO Ventures, Gcash, WeTV, Tufu NFT, Sushi Swap, Buy Swap, Trader Joe, and Element. So you guys, there is a lot of things happening here for this project. Not only that, you guys, they do have an extensive roadmap. So there is a lot of things you really need to check out for this project, right? So basically, the alpha version of Playbooks, an evolution from pre-alpha learnings, will feature a metaverse format with multiplayer options and a full-size island that includes additional services and partner integrations. Participation requires at least one Playbooks NFT and it is time limited for feature testing and feedback collection before the open beta, okay? So they got a lot of updates, such as Conquer to Earn, P-Bucks staking on Bybit, you got P-Bucks Extra Pool. Uh, if you guys want to purchase this, you guys can see that the token is currently blowing up right now. It actually looks really, really, really good. You can purchase it. We got Bybit, like I stated, staking, Qcoin, Gate.io, HTX, Mexi, BitGit, PancakeSwap, BitMart, a lot of different places. You guys can see that this is almost to all-time highs. So check out the links down below. Show some love for this project. Big opportunity. Dive down into their social medias as well, such as their Telegram. There you have it, Crypto Goats.